duo Bible translation. Mm. I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but they say when they were playing, that praise the Lord with all instruments, including Nyatiti. So I don't know whether it was put because the duo was translating it called that Nyatiti, the liar, you know? Yeah. This is called a liar, but it's a different form. That is called a liar. It's a different form. Yes. Different form. David was playing an, a, another liar. It was close to this. And that is over 4,000 years ago. Actually, 800 years ago. Mm -hmm. David was playing the liar. And it, it, it is the one which is Nyatiti, mm -hmm. but you don't put it on, at your feet. It is like this. So you do your finger last thing. No. You can go search and check what was the liar that David was using to praise the Lord. Right? Okay. So, so there has been a modification. At the same time, there is what we call dialect. You can say you are a loo, a patron, a yeah. joke, a loo. But you can get some hints on words that tells you that, oh, I can pick something. Mm. So marrying this will lead us to, to affirmation of our origin, where we came from. And that where we came from, what kind of songs were, were we singing, singing. then oh. and now? Mm -hmm. What kind of foods do we eat? How do we teach our children? That mm -hmm. is what we call culture. Right? Yeah. yeah, that is called and the customs. How do we bury our dead? How do we mourn our dead? All right? Mm -hmm. How long do you stay with the dead body before you bury? Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, why and why? Exactly. Yeah, why? Before the monks came, the mortuaries. What did we used to do? In the Middle East, somebody dies now, you bury immediately because it is hot and you don't have preservation. Okay. So, yeah. so if you think you, can, you will be resurrected, man, those people would have buried you. If you, had, you think you will come back to life. Mm. All right? Yeah. So, so those are the cultural aspects okay. that I'm targeting. Number two, you must know that we were colonized. The British colonized some places, the French colonized certain places, the Arabs, Bers, the Arabs colonized some other places. But now, when they colonized, mm -hmm. what they were trying to promote their country. Their country. That is why okay. we are not. That is why we are now speaking English. Once you speak English, we associate you with the England. Yeah. So that means you are you are a, a, a territory of England, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. That, and if you, if you pay more attention, if you lose your language and concentrate in England, you are already colonized, improper, and, and then you will lose your value. All right? Yeah. So to maintain that, mm. it starts with the language, That's how you compose your song using your language, your food, how you prefer to preserve your food, mm. your, your songs, how you sang your songs and the meaning in the songs. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Now people say rap. Rapping. That is nothing. That is not music. That yeah. is noise. You can't they're hear just, it. Yeah, they're yeah. just mentioning what? They talk about houses that they don't have. Mm -hmm. They talk about cars that they don't drive. They talk about weed that they don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, okay? <laughs> so, so we want to talk about real thing. Yeah, real the things. The new thing. The African yeah. thing. Yeah. Where you sit down and dress your castle. Thank you so much viewers for being with us from the beginning of this journey. Uh, we came to Kenya on Wednesday last week. And today is uh, Saturday. All thanks to Dr. Marcel Omole Apio. So he has been, we have been at his home for, it's now four days. And uh, I can tell you that we have, have, we, have, we have had the best of our time here. I was even gifted, uh, you remember my videos used to, to check a lot. I was given uh, a tripod. So I'm now the latest tripod owner in town. <laughs> so it's a full package actually. It comes with everything, including the the Bluetooth. Uh, this is for Bluetooth. If I want to record without uh, being on the phone, I just click here and start recording. When I connect it, actually it's a full package. This is what is remaining here. The others I'm using there. So the reason why I came to Kenya 
is because of him and I brought uh, this gentleman here he is supposed to train someone how to play a dungu now Dr. Marcel has passion for music he's also having a group so his mission is to promote and uh, unite the Luos. Watch him. He was. He has been training somebody. You can tell my viewers your name and how the session has been. Okay. First of, first of all, I want to thank Mr. Jabwe and Doctor Apio. I'm so grateful to meet you. I'm so grateful. Yeah, welcome. The big man. So before I go very far, let me first sample you. East, West, home is the best. I can't forget to be me Kenya. Yes, I come here to teach my brother. And I'm so happy because now I'm going to dance. I'm going to promote my talent, how to teach DC people. So I'm teaching a tribe in Kenya called the Luo tribe from Kenya. Remember, they are not from Uganda. Even in Uganda, we have Luo tribe. So we are going to see the combination with Nyatiti and Yadungu. That is the reason why they brought me to teach those people from Kenya called Lo. I'm going to teach them this solo Adungu and we have here ten Adungu. Doctor sample it. That is it. <laughs> so I'm going to teach them and I'm happy. Okay, you already taught him. How was the session? Do you think he can now play? Unfortunately, by the way, he's not around. He he would have told the, us that by himself, but since he's not around, he can say it for him. Yes. Do you think he, he learned it? Yes, he learned it the first chord. Because in Yadungu, we first, there are three steps. First step, how to play how to play it. Then the second one, to play the song. Then the third one, tuning. So next time I'm coming for tuning. So which steps did he learn? Playing. Play it, you can play that. Yes. So it's the tuning that uh, he might have some challenges. Yes. You can't mm -hmm. tune when you don't know how to play. Oh. Yes, you first know how to play, then the tuning will come later. So from the scale of 1 to 10, uh, how, many, how many do you think he knows? He knows 3. 3 out of 10? Yes, this one. No, I mean from the scale of, okay, out of 100%, mm. uh, according to you, yes. what percentage does he know? 50. 50. Mm. Okay, so to you, Mr. Marcel, I want to say a very big thank you for welcoming us to your home, for the hospitality, everything. I, I, I can tell you that there was no darling moment here from the time we reached. You saw the video, everything. Uh, you, you, if you didn't watch it, you can check back the videos. They are all there. Everything has been documented from the time we reached where we stayed, the food we ate, the hospital, the people. Luo people are the most hospitable people I have ever met. Everything, I'm telling you, this is home outside Uganda. It's wonderful. I want to say a very big thank you to you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah. Before you go for, there's a gift I wanted to give my doctor. This can, gift. You can go ahead. I want to give to my doctor. How do we call it? We call it endere. And in English? A fruit. 
Can you sample it for us before? is really incredible. Yes. It's okay, you can go ahead and present your gift. So, Mr. Doctor, I'm so happy. Thank you for welcoming us. I don't have someone, I don't have many to say. Let me say that like that, because my heart is happy and content. So happy. Keep that spirit. Keep on promoting other talent. The younger one, the old one, please I beg. In Uganda, to show respect, we need. I don't think that the video will do that, mm -hmm. but I have to kneel to show you respect. I respect you. Thank you for promoting talent. Even culture one. Because they are forgetting the culture. But for you, have decided to bring out culture. So this is a gift. Even if I would be away in Uganda, once you look at it, you say, one hour man, one hour called a wali. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yes, yes, thank you very, yeah. very much. Yes. Now, I must also thank you for creating the time to come and be with me in my home, uh, doing the videos, conducting the training, and accepting our food. It and was and so wonderful. Our, our food <laughs> and our water <laughs> and our drinks and everything. Yes. So make it not the last time. Yes. You are always welcome here. I promise you I'll be back. Yep. So with coordination, we will okay. know. Okay. And you will be able to come back and follow up on the level of the training that you have already issued. Yes. You are talking over 50%. Yes. But I strongly believe that you also wanted to reach higher level, over 100%, or 100 and two. Because the students always do much far better than their teachers. Yes. 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 Yeah, the teachers give them the hunch, the hints, and the basics. But they have to build on that foundation okay, and to make themselves better okay, and sir. also to replace the older generation. So I'm yes. so happy when I see young people active, full of energy, still interested in promoting culture. the African culture. culture. <coughs> now, let me not forget, uh, why do you have so much passion in mm -hmm. promoting the culture? culture? Because not so many people are promoting culture especially the they think it's for drunkards or old people, people or maybe those who do not go to school why do you think that this culture particularly i i i have seen from the videos we made previously you are trying to i don't know whether i'm going to use the right english to intermarry certain instruments and then see which kind of sound mm. they can produce you know traditionally this adungo is either played as a team just as adungo or in other culture is played with tongoli and fumbo but here you are bringing in a completely new thing together yeah the reason why i do that is one, you talk about the lures, right? Yes. And when you talk about the lures, why? Why do they have different instruments? So it means that at one point they had a single instrument, right? Yeah. But they modified it such that a certain group maybe met another group on the way, mm. they are mingled with them, and saw a different kind of instrument. Now, look at this instrument. Mm. This instrument is an intermediate between the Nyatiti and the Orotu. Mm. Because Orotu is one string mm. and it is straight 
and then this one is curved down. Mm. Now, if you take a uh, root, turn it upside down, then curve that part, and then curve the top, and add more strings, mm. what do you end up with? You end up with a doom. a doom. Now, if you take a doom, maintain here, and then instead of this, mm. put two of them, and then put this one, another another base up here, and then the strings now pass through. You mm. end up with nyatiti, nyatiti, so it is straight, straight, and then that. Mm. So at one point, they had a single instrument, but because innovation, modification, they come up with one. So we, we are, that's why I want to intermarry them and see okay. what comes out of a combination of all these modifications during the immigration period. Because they, they moved from 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 north uh, from northeast, mm. uh, also they tell me. Yeah. And then they came through e Egypt, then Ethiopia, then blah blah blah. And in the Luo Bible translation, mm. I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but they say when they were playing, that praise the Lord with all instruments, including. Nyatiti. So I don't know whether it was put because the guru was translating it called that Nyatiti the liar, you know? Yeah. This is called a liar, but it's a different form. That is called a liar. It's a different, yes, different form. Different yes. form. David was playing an, a, another liar. It was close to this. And that is over 4,000 years ago. Actually, 800 years ago. Mm -hmm. David was playing the liar. And it, it, it is the one which is nyatiti, mm. but you don't put it on, at your feet. It is like this. So you do your finger last oh. You can go search and check what was the lie that David was using to press the law. Right? Okay. So, so there has been a modification. At the same time, there is what we call dialect. You can say you are a lure, a paton, a yeah. chon, a lure. But you can get some hints on words that tells you that, oh, I can pick something. Mm. So, marrying this will lead us to, to a formation of our origin, where we came from. And that, where we came from, what kind of songs were, were we singing, singing then from. and now? Mm. What kind of foods do we eat? How do we teach our children? That is mm. what we call culture. Right? Yeah. yeah, that is called and the customs. How do we bury our dead? How do we mourn our dead? All right? Mm. How long do you stay with the dead body before you buy? Okay. Yeah. 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 Why and why? Exactly. Yeah. Why? Before the monks came, the mortuaries, what did we used to do? In the Middle East, somebody dies now, you buy immediately because it is hot and you don't have preservation. Okay. So, yeah. So, if you think you, could, you will be resurrected, man, those people would have buried you. If you, had, you think you come back to life. Mm. All right? Yeah. So, so those are the cultural aspects okay. that I'm targeting. Number two, you must know that we were colonized. The British colonized some places. The French colonized certain places. The Arabs. The Arabs colonized some other places. But now, when they colonized, Mm. What they were trying to promote their country. Their country. That is why okay. we are not. That is why we are now speaking English. Once you speak English, we associate you with the England. Yeah. So that means you are you are a, a, a territory of England, mm. right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that is, and if you if you pay more attention, if you lose your language and concentrate in England, you are already colonized. Improper, and, and then you will lose your value. All right? Yeah. So, to maintain that, mm. is that the language? That's how you compose your song using your language? Your food? How you prefer to preserve your food? Mm. You, your songs? How you sang your songs and the meaning in the songs? Mm. All right? Yeah. Now, people say rap. Rapping. That is nothing. That is not music. That yeah. is noise. You can't yeah. They're, they're, they're yeah. just mentioning words. They talk about houses that they don't have. Mm. They talk about cars that they don't drive. They talk about weed that they don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, okay? <laughs> so, so we want to talk about real things. Yeah, real the things. The new thing. The African mm. thing. Yeah. Where you sit down and dress your cancer. And by the way, when we were growing up, mm -hmm. There were some songs that our grandfather, you could see him 
listening to a song and the next thing is tears. Yes. Yes. So it is bound on our oh. memory. Who came up with the song? And what under what circumstance? Was it a war song where they lost people in war? Or was it a song of victory when they won? Okay? So the tears will come in remembrance of the origin of that song. Okay. So if you go, dun, 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 what? I don't get anything. And by the way, you are very, very right. Do you know that uh, not just in Kenya, it's also in Uganda. These, most of these new songs, we call them the modern songs. They, they are released today, one, two weeks, it's over. There are those songs of 60s, 70s, 40s, 20s, I don't know, 20s, 60s, 60s. anyway. But those songs, they do not fade up. They, fade up. Yeah, they, are, they are still as new as if they just released it today. We call them classics. Classic. They never lose their value. Because they had... They, they had originality. They were not copied. They yeah. were through inspiration. Yes, yeah. They, not copying others. But it's through, uh, just I say, inspiration. Where you watch in nature. And then you, you, you see how the birds sing. You see you hear how the wind blows. Yes. You see what happens when it rains, right? And then that puts an imprint in your brain and helps you to develop artistically. So it is an art. Something that is the birds. reality. Yeah, you listen to the birds and copy what they are, they are, whether they are talking or they are singing, and you turn that one into a song. You hear... How, how, how the lions roar, how the, 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 the cows mow, and at what time of the hour, how mm -hmm. the cocks crow. And then you, you figure it out and put nature together in terms of songs. Wow, that is so wonderful. Actually, I am, I, the reason why I actually came here is because I am also a great... Uh, I like things traditional, like things that are like this yeah yeah uh, i am not so much with the these modern things because but you have to tell me what is modern what, what is the definition of modern uh, <laughs> i mean because listen yeah everything comes from the soil whether it is metal for making cars it is from the soil whether it is oil for the plants it is from the soil whether it is food for the stomach from it is from the soil. soil. It is only the modification, and they think that is modern. Yeah. There is nothing new. Let me tell you, mm. technology which was there before cannot be reproduced, and it is very superior. Like who built the pyramids? Nobody can explain. If you yes. go to some parts of Greece, mm. nobody can understand how they build some pillars to the sky. So, were those people superior? Who went before us? I don't know. So maybe we are just going back to the original. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are very, very right. So, um, where do you see yourself in the next two, three years with this instrument? I see myself uh, gathering around me more men and women who are interested in continuing with the promotion and, and the practice of our original traditional ways of life, which is okay. in a nutshell the culture. Okay, um, if someone wants to reach out to you, how can they reach out to you? Number one, they can reach out through Jabwe because Jabwe knows me <laughs> and is the blogger. Yes. And the second part, they can have my number, yes. which is a Kenyan number. Mm. You have to start with a plus. One, five, no, plus two, two, plus two, two, five, plus two, two five, five, four, four. Yeah. Mm. then zero, seven, one, five, seven, nine, six, nine, four, four. That is the phone number. Mm. But if they cannot reach me, they just do the comment section mm. of the Jabwell uh, uploads yes. and ask, I would like to get in contact with this person, depending on which show is out there. Yeah. Zero seven one five seven nine six nine four four. But if you are outside Kenya, you have to add plus two.
0.254. You omit the zero. Yeah. Plus 254-715-796944. By the way, he is having a group, a group of uh, players, not just Adungo, not just Nyatiti, intermarried players. I mean, people that play different kinds of instruments. I think he can highlight that. Yeah, I have Kombonya Nyatiti group. There we don't only do the Nyatiti. Uh, we do other stuff, or Hangla and everything. And then it is not only restricted to the player. It is also, a, 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 it encompasses the society, where we have those who only sing. And then we also have those who set up scenarios for cultural events. We have those who cook. We have those who, who just can just uh, present traditional poems yes. and the lyrics. Yeah. So it is a combination, and the goal is to revive what we are losing slowly by slowly. Some of our children cannot even cook the, the original food that we used to cook. They go for fast food. In the Luo culture, there is no fast food. Everything must be slow and then safe so that we don't get uh, uh, uncalled for infections because we took shortcuts in preparing our food. Talking about cooking, do you know a food called Magira? Yes, it has blood in it, right? Eh? Or not? No. Or it is beans? Yeah. It is, uh, is crushed. It, cow peas? Yes, yeah, which is, is crushed. Cow, which is crushed. And, they, and then you add the milk? I don't know whether they add milk. Mm. They cook it in the pot. Yeah. It has some sort of... Uh, there is a stick there. It, it is one of the, 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 the meal that long ago, when a, a woman is going to get married, they must know how to cook magira. magira. Yeah, they put it, they cook it in piece. They first, they can first crush it. They cook it in the pot when it's about to get ready. You know, sometimes they don't cover it because it it comes with a lot of pressure. It can pour, and then when it is cooked, there's the way they, and then it, they take a stick. Yeah, that one is called a star. You call it a star. Yeah, the, the sowers do that, and then they modernize it, and then they have a star. Or they call it a blender. Mm. So, so they mm. copied our, oh. they copied our ways. Our they went way. and modified it. You pour everything inside, mm. press on a machine, and then it's. So that it. is the facet food. Yeah. So <laughs> they they used to cook it with uh, bicarbonate also. The bicarbonate is to make it uh, to ferment it, mm. so that you have some elements which are not found when it is uncemented. Yeah, so uh, when you said that, I am sure many of uh, our ladies, partially the ones in the city, they don't even know how to cook. Uh, that is why I told you even this, the, 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 the simplest thing as ugali, mm. which is, uh, you call it a posho, posho, and also the one you are making Wankal. is called Akal. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the young girls would really want to know how to cook it, but they go to the, the YouTube. Mm. To watch out <laughs> cooking, and then all of a sudden people are waiting on the table, and then they lose power and they lose the internet, and people sleep <laughs> angry because they could not eat and uh, follow at, up to the end. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for the opportunity and everything, and uh, most importantly for preserving our culture, mm. and then promoting it. So when you talk of preserving, you have to really be careful what you are saying. You only preserve what is already there. So that it is not lost, it is not destroyed, it is not killed, it does not go bad. Right? Yeah. So that means if we don't preserve it, it goes bad. Yeah. But what makes it go bad? That is the thing you have to ask yourself. Education, which your foreign education, mm. which is trying to convince us that everything everything we did uh, traditionally is wrong. That everything we must be modern. So look at it this way. Somebody comes from some other land, comes and teaches you A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And, H, then, I, J, K, and, and then you write it down. Mm -hmm. And if you can reproduce that, that you can know how to say A, B, C, D, and you can write that now you are smart. Now you mm -hmm. now you, you have passed the exam. Yes. No. That is not the way to evaluate people. There are, there are people there who know ABCD, but they cannot even play a dog. So that means 
they are only good in what they know, but they don't know. They are not good in what we know. So we should promote what we know, so that if they are interested in knowing it, then we teach them to know. Exactly. So thank you so much. It has been a pleasure and uh, being in your home and uh, seeing everything that you are doing to promote our culture. We really appreciate. I hope people are going to to reach out to you so that uh, uh, we, they can support the people that you are supporting. Yeah, yeah I support students in school. Mm -hmm. I, sp I support players uh, in the villages, those who went to school and those who did not go to school, mm -hmm. uh, and, we, uh, and women, you know, cultural groups composing of all kinds of mothers, you know, girls, and so on. So the number again is a plus sign, Two five four seven one five seven nine six nine four four. All right. Thank you so much. So to the viewers, thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning up to the end. Doctor Marcel's appeal Omole is actually doing a lot, not just in Kenya. Actually, we can say across borders he is actually doing a lot i can't count them and finish the group that he just mentioned he is single-handedly um we call it promoting or sponsoring eh? he's single-handedly sponsoring them as for now so it will be better if you reach out to him in that number so that we do not lose our culture. Some of these things, they still bring the original music. I'm going to try my best to bring in some of the clips we recorded. Yes. We didn't even record them in the studio. It was just here. And the music is really good. I know you know music. It heals the soul. It's good. So try as much as possible to see how we can promote this 